In most organizations, service accounts are privileged accounts that never interactively log in to an environment. If we do see a login from one of these accounts, we should alert the system owner and start an investigation. We have some audit data ingested in our Splunk deployment. We know that all of our service account usernames start with SVC, so we add terms to only return events that include these accounts. Adding the results to a table, we can quickly see which accounts logged in and to what destination. While this report is very helpful, it can be rather noisy and misleading if any accounts are being used for testing or have a reason to log in. We can change our search to find any abnormalities or outliers in our data. We know that if an account has recently logged into a host for the first time, it is a reason for concern. Piping events into the stats command, we use the earliest and latest functions to find the first and last time the account logged into a host. An eval command is used to find any outliers. In this search, a field of isOutlier is created. The if function is used to return a 1 as the field value if an outlier is found, or a 0 if not. Inside the if function, we check to see if the earliest value is greater than or equal to the time the search was run minus one day. The relative time function takes a time field and the amount of time to apply to it. Here we are subtracting one day from the time the search was invoked, rounding down to the day. When the search is run, we see a field of is outlier. Using the convert command, we can convert the timestamps to something readable by humans. We now have a report that is easy for our team to take action on. Since a login from a service account is highly suspect, we might also want to create an alert. We change our search to use the where command to filter results to only outliers. We can now create an alert, allowing us to quickly act when an outlier is found. Thanks for watching.